Let's go to Audacity. This picture looks a little funny. Don't worry about that. Go to Audacity. We're going to bring in that file. So press File. Open the file. Here it is. Oops. OK. Click twice. That's our song. A few things you'll need to know to get around Audacity. This is the play button. This is the stop. What you're hearing is not how your song will end up sounding on your CD. What you're hearing with this video is that the music is playing through the air with outside speakers. I'm sorry about that, but that's the best I can do. Um, so yours will sound like a normal CD. It'll sound a lot better quality. So we have play and stop. You can also play and stop by just pressing on the space bar of your typewriter keyboard here. I pressed the keyboard, I pressed it again, and it stops. This is a timeline. It's going to be very handy for you. This is 45 seconds into the song. This is a minute into it, a minute and 15 seconds. Um, another thing that I use a lot are the enlarging. You can enlarge your visual representation of your song, i.e. the picture, and you can make it smaller. To hear the music, just bring this eye right down there. You get a little finger, and it starts from there. So um, to select a part of the song, you just, you're just you going to click and drag, click and drag. And here's the area I selected. Let's say I want to select something bigger. I can do that or smaller. And on this side, just bigger or smaller. And I'm just clicking on the edge of it and then click and drag. So if we want to make the song play slower, you click and drag the whole song. That's what you're going to work with. Go to Effects, and here we see Change Pitch and Change Speed and Change Tempo. If you work with Change Pitch, you might get this free version to sound good a half step up or down, maybe a whole step depending upon the song. Change Speed, you might get it sounding like chipmunks. So Change Tempo is the best. Here is speeding up a song, 17%. And when you see the negative numbers, that means you're slowing down the song. I find that five a negative 5% change in the tempo is really noticeable. But for this demo, I'll go 10. All right, it thinks about it. Here it is. Here's your new slowed down song. That was the whole process, by the way. Now that's a big slowdown because if I press undo, and start again, you can hear the difference. Um, edit, undo, and redo are uh, very good to have around. So you'll be, you might be using those a lot.